Yes. Okay. <laughs> we should be golden this time. Okay. So, normally we would have Potion of Vibe do a recap because of the wonderful, wonderful voice you can do. However, you weren't there for the last one, correct? Yep. Okay. So, to recap, Session Zero, you guys destroyed the starter town. <laughs> what ruined your relationship with key NPCs that you will never know about at this point. Managed to get a bag of holding, which is yet to be opened and has a secret item inside. Whoops. You split off after crossing a river because you had to run by a bunch of homeless people. Whoops. At which point, a mini group of you ended up getting into a fight with a bunch of raiders and killing Whoops. two more important NPCs. <laughs> what? <laughs> At which point, K-Cups managed to get a very late-leveled item that he's not supposed to have for what? seven more sessions. <laughs> it's okay, because I guarantee K-Cups is not going to be able to figure out how to use it. So I'm fine letting K-Cups have it. Hmm. <laughs> you can try, buddy. <laughs> I'm not saying it's impossible. I just severely doubt that you can. <laughs> okay. So, story-wise, here's what we're looking at. You started in town. You blew up a building. You ran away from said town. You crossed the river and got separated from your party. You each went into different sides of a canyon. When you emerged out the other side, one party was fine. The other party had just fought a bunch of people. And you said, you know what? Fuck it, we're gonna set up right here. And now you have a home base of operations. Any questions? Nope. I'm gay. Fair. Unless, did I kill anyone? No. Everyone, no, who, was... <laughs> Everyone who was sadly not here for the last session had a very boring canyon walk. Cool. <laughs> okay. So the main goal for your last session was to get to Justine's hut. Mango has a map. Now, Jetty or Jiri. Geriatric, but with an I. Jiri. Jerry. Jerry. So close. Yes. Jerry. Damn it, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> I love everything about that. So, Jiri has a bag of holding that you have not opened yet, and with Tanga, you have a backpack that you have not opened yet. Would either of you like to do that before you start the session today, or would you like to hold on to that for more surprises? I uh, gotta hold on to it for more surprises. You know, we're not gonna open it until we're ready to put something in it. Oh, I... That is your prerogative. What about Tango? I am always the curious one. Alrighty, so would you like to open the backpack? I would like to open it and take a quick look, but not a thorough look. Okay, roll an investigation oh. skill. <coughs> oh boy, our oh favorite God. skill. Uh, which one? Which Hooray. investigation? The int. Investigation. Int, my friend. Yeah. And then don't forget, it goes in roll a con save. That's a d20, right? Yes. And then plus whatever modifier you have. So if your intelligence is a plus two, you add one d2 plus two. One d20 plus two. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> 1d2 would only roll one or two. Yeah, you right. <laughs> you know, that's a coin flip. You right. How do you have a higher int than I do? Because pain. I am awesome. <laughs> K-Cups did do ridiculously <laughs> well on rolls. So when you oh. glance inside the bag, you actually get a good peek about what's in there. You see 
what looks like a normal dagger, a small bag of gold, but it weighs quite a bit more than it seems like it should, several rations, and dragon hide. Would you like to investigate any of these items further? What were they? Dragon hide, extra heavy bag of gold, and what? Rations and a normal looking dagger. <laughs> no, I think no. I'm good. Alright. Uh, so it is nighttime at the camp. We have three tents set up. You guys have not fully explored the area. Would you like to move on and further your mission, or would you like to regroup with the group? Did, did I die? What's this now? Oh, I Jesus. was dying. I think everyone was thinking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I get worried that if no one answers that I've that I've died and that no one can hear me again. <laughs> no, I, no I, I think that's normal because I do that too. It's like, oh shit, I fucking disconnected again. Yeah, it's just the pain. I leave this uh, decision up to our illustrious leader. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, it is the leader. It is, the, it is the teenage bard who's the leader. <laughs> the teenage bard mango whisper. Hey, you told you told you told Ravna to follow you, and he thinks you'll meet strong people. So let's go with that. <sighs> Bless you. Thank you. Oh, let's go to the Steve's house then. Hmm. Alrighty, All give me right. one second to correct the audio first. Go for it. Okay, there's no actual map for this one. So, I'm going to gently move everyone into the void. No! Okay. As you guys make your way down this winding dirt path trees start to lose their leaves trunks start to look like they've been burned without any char on them the ground darkens the air gets colder things seem to start dying around you what would you like to do i'd like to make an investigation check go for it I can't say. Oh, fuck my <laughs> life. <laughs> I'm an investigator. <laughs> just, just the violently different, uh, different roles of like, oh yeah, I'm gonna investigate a bag. 17! I'm gonna investigate the rotting world around me. Five. <laughs> I'm an oh god, I love it. So I as you look to be a dookie. Anyway. <laughs> so my as you look around the forest, you can only assume that a beetle outbreak has plagued the land once again. You're not entirely sure how this managed to happen or why everything seems to be burned, but you assume it's just a very special magical beetle. We need to actually burn this place to the ground. <laughs> you can certainly try. 
Would you like to press on, or would you like to yes. investigate further? I'm not gonna press my luck on the... <laughs> Certainly. Everyone, please make a dex save. Oh ah. boy. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, wait, I can do this from inside the uh, astral. No. no, don't do that. <coughs> uh... Dexterity save. Fucking uh, wrong room. So, like... By the way, just so everybody knows, uh, the reason we are not using Astral's rolling mechanism is I did a individual test and it came up with way too many nat 1s and 5s to be comfortable. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so we're going to just not use Astral. Just so everyone knows. Macarena. Hey, Macarena. Oh boy. Right. Oh boy. It, is something happened that we're is something happening that we can see? Uh it's about to once everyone rolls their deck safe. We're waiting on you and Kcups. Does my danger sense activate? It does not. I Damn have it. a question first. <laughs> yes. What is that? In the picture I just sent you. What is all of that for? Hold on. Hold on. Because I have my standard stats at the top, and then I have that. Those are for when you have proficiencies. So your investigation, you have a plus four because you're proficient in it. Arcania, you have okay. a plus four because you're proficient. So these ones are just slightly different depending on situation. Okay. And All how right. do I know when to use those? Remember when I said, would you like to investigate? And I yes. said roll investigation. Yes, that was a plus four. You see how it says investigation? Yes. That's how you know. I'd say okay. roll a history. Or I'd say roll an insight. And then if you have proficiency in it, you can change it from there. That explains so much. Yes. I, I, I thought I had explained that. I'm very sorry. That is a very important thing to know. I don't think I ever asked. To be fair, mood. Okay, so we've got oh, Rowan no. taking a six. <laughs> Last one is the K cups. I'm dead. <laughs> You're not dead. <laughs> I've learned not to do that. <laughs> and, uh, am I is the only one who's so did a great? <laughs> it's it's the dice god saying I'm sorry for giving you a five on your investigation. <laughs> yeah, no, it. it, it I'm sorry, I didn't know you were an investigator. So as you press forward into the dead trees, the road starts to become covered by fallen oak trees, rotten wood. There are several bones scattered underneath that you can't quite identify, but you have to start climbing over. As you make your way over, Amaya leads the pack. Without trouble, she makes it over every tree, stick, and log. Behind her falls Tanga. Tanga gets stuck on a couple branches, but makes it out fairly unscathed, only getting a couple scrapes and scratches. On the other hand, <laughs> Jiri, unfortunately, gets a 1d4 of damage for face planting directly into a trunk. God damn it, Jerry! <laughs> Look, it's because I'm distracted. And... and Sounds like a usual like, oh, excuse from you. Perfect. No. No. <laughs> let, me just, let me just maximize my face plan damage. <laughs> Full face plan. And then, unfortunately, worst of all, Ravener gets face planted and falls into the tree. Please roll 1d6. <laughs> Yay. Why not? At least it was only a two. At least it's only a two. <laughs> okay. Would you like to investigate? That did not hurt. <laughs> would you like to investigate the dead trees that have fallen, or would you like to press on? Ah, uh, no. It 
Is that a no to investigating or a no to pressing it... on? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> you fucking monsters. Don't you quiz my like English. I would to examine a bone. Okay. Go ahead and roll. Well, let's see here. That would be animal handling. Okay. You got this, buddy. It's all right. Sorry? I'm gonna... Oh, no, I said it's all right. There we go. Okay, I had to max you out. Okay, so you got pretty decent, and you can tell it's some type of large cat. It doesn't seem predatory, as the bones are very brittle, and they seem to have no marrow inside. However, you can also tell that there's something very off about what's happened to this bone. You're not entirely sure what, but something feels unnatural about it. Would you like to investigate it further? I don't see why not. Go ahead and roll again. It is a bone devil bone. These are creatures <coughs> that come from one of the nine hells. And once they start leeching into the world, they start sucking the life out of everything around them. Heresy. They are known for collecting the bones of their victims and integrating them into their own skeletons, growing ever longer and more twisted in design. They are unmatched by most other demons. They have an armor class of 19, and their base health before buffs is 142. Fuck me. This is Heresy. a shed bone devil <laughs> bone, meaning that there is a bigger bone devil around. Please don't tell me I'm gonna fight that. <coughs> We're all gonna die if we fight that. <laughs> Would you like to press forward to Justine's house? Yes. Alright. Everyone, please roll an investigation check. Base int. <laughs> Base in no proficiency. No proficiency, just the base end. Base. Oh. Yeah. Okay, that's the wrong one then. <laughs> it's okay, Kikos. Intelligence, right? Just your basic intelligence. Motherfucker. <laughs> I'm an investigator. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Are oh you... no. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh god. Okay, Kikos, you're the investigator. <laughs> so Tanga manages to take the lead and as you guys move forward Tanga gets the most information of what's going on <clears throat> you can see these long black tendrils going through the soil as they seem to culminate just ahead of you Amaya you see something very familiar you can see the outline of Justine's house but something's wrong and twisted about it it doesn't look the same in fact, it looks much, much older than what you thought it would. It seems like it might have been abandoned, or could be worse. Now, next down the line, <laughs> Rowan, you notice the black tendrils. You don't really notice where they're going, but you do notice that they're arcing out, and it seems like anything that touches them is getting damaged. Next up is Jerry. Jerry, you think there are some very pretty flowers in the ground. Oh, oh for God's sake. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, that, that, I love how both that, me and Roland were like, oh, for God's sake. I mean, I do only have an eight intelligence. That's okay. I am, I am, I am not a learned paladin. I'm a very instinctive paladin. I just I am not a learned I wasn't expecting an, an unnat one. <laughs> and Just finally, straight up. 
Learn it you are. Mm. Flowers they are. Funny joke. <laughs> uh, fun fact for anyone who ever wants to care. Uh, the Navajo language is actually structured like Yoda speak. Oh my god. That is so interesting. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a snippet in a minute. So Amaya... You managed to catch just the glimpse of movement through the window ahead of you guys. But that is all you can see that's different. Would you like to press forward? Yes. Okay. Let me load up the other map. It's gonna take a minute. So, for instance, if I wanted to say I am going to Shiprock, I would say Natani Nezgo Dayana. And that means Shiprock, I am going. Love it. It's wonderful. Okay, now you are gonna all peacefully ignore the right side of the map, okay? Okay. No questions about it. Or I swear to god you yeah. will take damage. Carefully scrolling to the right. <laughs> Chicken. Don't forget, Amaya, you have control over the mango. Mango, okay. And I would recommend having his sheet ready. You should still have that from when I sent it. Oh, yeah, I did actually open that. I'm... <laughs> it's why I'm mentioning it now. <laughs> so, as you all get into the actual house part, you can see that it's surrounded by bushes that are grown over with thorns. What once seemed like a blossoming, beautiful druid circle has withered away. Blackened, tangled vines now crawling around the edges of it. It is still clear and usable. However, it doesn't seem like it's gotten any use in these last few years. It seems like the door is closed and there's lights inside, but you can see that there's something amiss about the house on the inside. It feels like someone's supposed to be there. But there's no one. Okay. Okay. What would you like to do? I'm just going to turn around and say, uh, so, uh, who's going first? Uh, can you actually send me Mango's key again? Uh, let me find it. So I can't seem to fucking find it. It's okay. Let's see here. Sign in with my Google. This guy. Um, Amaya, is this someone strong? Yeah, yeah. Is he here? There we go. Control C, and then he uses a special uh, druid circle. Let's see here, where are you? Where are you in my DMs? <coughs> you are pain, apparently. You are so far down. Here's that guy. Let's see here. Then I put the special part in the spoiler, I believe. I'm gonna have to rename this too. Because I just realized that we've been using this as the general instead of the socially awkward. <laughs> Okay, and there's the nerd archery. <coughs> okay. You should have both of those. Okay. Do you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Mango is a swarm druid, by the way. For anyone who did not know. 
Oh, that's nice. Yeah. He controls the buggy boys. Mm -hmm. When that eventually happens, you will all be delightfully surprised, I hope. Okay. So, you are all standing outside of the house. What would you like to do? Raven would out? like you. Oh, go on. Can I walk up to the, the door? Yes, you can. And then knock quietly and see what happens. You knock quietly on the wooden door. It gently creaks open. It seems as if the lock has been busted. It's very okay. quiet inside the house, and your knock echoes against the stone walls. Ravenna would like to use his magic awareness. Go ahead and roll. Um, magic awareness for Barbarian. As an action, you can open your awareness to the presence of concentrated magic. Until the end of your next turn, you know the location of any spell or magic item within 60 feet of you that isn't behind total cover. When you sense a spell, you learn which school it belongs to, and you can use this feature a number of times equal to your proficiency bonus. You regain all expended uses when you finish a long rest. Let's see here. And what was the distance on that guy? Uh, 60 feet. Yeah. You sense Unless nothing. Unless it has total cover. You 60 sense... feet. Unless 60... they have total cover. 60 feet is just within my safety range. You sense nothing. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> well, I mean, you'll probably sense, like, my bag of holding. Yeah, yeah, you sense the bag of holding. You just don't sense anything from the environment. <clears throat> you can also sense yeah. a strong presence of magic coming specifically from Tanga. I just look to Tanga and raise an eyebrow. Okay, Cups, that's you. <laughs> Raises an eyebrow to me. Yeah, you yeah, smell of licorice. licorice. It's probably one of those items I picked up from that bag. I mean, it most definitely is. I now, would like to investigate and see if any of them have done anything. <laughs> Roll? Question mark? <laughs> I don't know what you're Roll rolling. Roll a question mark. No, no. All I did was sense magic and <laughs> raise an eyebrow to you. I have done nothing else. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay, Cups, go ahead and roll investigation to see if they've done anything. <sighs> That's oh. the proficiency one, right? Yes, that is the one with proficiency. <clears throat> so while you look in the bag it doesn't seem like anything has done anything but you can see that the dagger is slightly glowing interesting it's a magic myth <laughs> Jesus would you like to do anything else Kacobs? I would like to grab the dagger and hold it out in front of me as we walk through the house. Are you a hundred percent sure you want to do that, buddy? Are you dead? No, but it is glowing, so I think it might lead us to something. <laughs> Alright, so you grab the dagger and you want to aim it in front of you. Just hold it out. Non-threateningly. Okay. Are you holding it towards the door or towards the building itself? Towards the building itself. So you're aiming this way, correct? Um, you see the little yes. blue circles? Okay. Jairi, please roll a deck save. Jesus. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, you guys weren't supposed to have this for a while. Oh no. I get. Uh, hey, Jiry, what's your HP? Uh, at the moment, 24. Ah, uh, hey, Amaya. You what? might want to check our DM to see how many revival mangoes exist. Okay. Uh, 
believe you used one last time. Well, I got a 12. I'm sorry, revival mangoes. Those are a thing now. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, thank God. Oh my God. <sighs> All right. So, Jiry, you manage to hear a faint buzzing as you duck out of the way. A large magical bolt fires from the dagger, hitting the brick walls and decimating the house. Uh... The house seems stable for now, but you can hear massive creaking as the bricks slowly slide into place again. The dagger has stopped Careful glowing. where you point that. Ravna is looking at Tenga. Full, like, full, like, questioning face as to say, why did you just do that? I'm gonna move over here. Sheepishly puts the dagger back in the bag. Uh, Ravna's, Ravna's gonna walk up to you. <laughs> and like slow and get slowly close to you, just staring you down and say, Either you are looking for a fight, or you are here to possibly kill us all. Just smiles happily. <laughs> oh my god. Well, we're gonna have a TPK, aren't we? Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, Maya. Yeah? Would, would you like to do anything, Amaya? Or would uh, you like to like go to through call, the giant hole? I'd like to call out for, uh, Justine to see if he hears me. You call out for Justine as everything unfolds behind you. <laughs> and it echoes quietly off of the walls. And you can hear what sounds like the creaking of floorboards, but you get no response back. Okay. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean, is the door locked? No, the door creaked open. The lock is broken, and there is now a massive hole in the house that you can go through. I mean, did you say? Did you say the bricks were like fixing themselves back up, or I forgot? No, they were settling. Is in like you know when you just throw a bunch of rocks out and they kind of like pile up together. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They settle. Okay, fair enough. I'll go through the door first. It can't be any more dangerous in there than it is out here. <sighs> go for it. As you pass into the room, you can see a nice little welcoming area, full with a vibrant red rug, a quiet bench with some books scattered about it, and a candelabra that is still lit. You can see the hint of a rug and several doors that are open. You can also see the flicker of flame in what seems like the kitchen up ahead. And and we are looking for someone named Justine, right? Correct. Okay, so you remember the the gimmick for my character, right, Wolfie? Yes, I do. Excellent, because I'm about to cast a spell. Perfect. <laughs> oh no. So um, I'm going to use my thaumaturgy cantrip. Okay. And I'm going to make. Uh, I'm going to choose the effect where my voice booms three times as loud as normal for one minute. I am going to put a pause on you and gently ask, are you 100% sure you want to do that? Yes. <laughs> Hi, fam. Look, look, a magical bolt exploded and nothing came charging at us. My voice won't be you know, it won't attract that much more. Are you sure about that? <laughs> You're allowed to. Go ahead and go for it. What would you like to yell? Basically just calling uh, to Justine, you have guests. Please roll initiative. Oh. 
Oh. Justine oh. ain't here anymore, Billy. <laughs> oh. Not that bad uh. yet. Reminds me of the reminds me of the 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 nine one one call where the, like the killer is like Christopher is dead. <laughs> uh, how does the initiative work in five E again? Is it still the D twenty plus yep. your initiative? Yep, D twenty plus initiative initial. Oh, okay. Oh wait, all of us typing? Yep, everyone's typing. Hooray! Perfect. God, dang it. Give me one second. I have to get out of here, Pokemon. Give me one second. I gotta get a Pokemon. Oh, look, a Pokemon appeared. What am I rolling for? Initiative. We're about to fight. Initiative. Oh, well, fuck that Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. It's not supposed to be in here. Which one it's not even that? a cool one. It was the nose pass. They fucking suck. It was probably. I mean, that, that was. Yeah. <laughs> they both suck equally. That doesn't change my initial statement. <laughs> Which one is initiative? D the oh, one okay. that... There it is. Right. We're all fucking sucking initiative, aren't we? It's okay. Initiative is the uh, big modifier. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. And then I gotta get the hidden encounter pulled up. Oh! Gagups has gotten the burst good roll! Let's see here. Click on that guy. Kill him. Okay. Let's see here. Come on. Pretty sure they were before the Balrog. Here they are. Okay. Alrighty, and theirs is a perfect base initiative. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. So. Order. Wait, of what? Uh, you have six enemies. Oh, great. Okay, so the <laughs> order is gonna be... Let's see here. Well, I'm going last. Actually, no, I'm not. No, you're I'm not. I'm tied with someone. Okay, so it's gonna be two for 20, and then K-Cups is next. Then tied with five... Next up, did anyone get higher than a 13 besides uh, K cups? Just K cups. Okay, so then it's gonna be 6. And then, did anyone get higher than a 5? I did. Okay. So I got a 5. <laughs> okay, so it's Maya. And then, uh, what did you get, uh, Jetty? A 4. Gotcha. Okay, so it's gonna go. Up. My <laughs> rolls have been garbage. That's okay. <laughs> I promise we're gonna make I it okay. Feel ya, buddy. I haven't rolled higher than a ten yet. Four and it one. is okay. Okay, so the order is gonna be enemy, K cups, enemy, enemy, Amaya, Rowan, enemy, 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 repeat. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Wait, um, where where is Jairi in this? Uh, you are inside the house. You are right there. Now. Oh, well, I I was saying we're in the initiative order. Oh, you are. Oh, one sec, guys, hold on. Meanwhile, Ravna is just staring down Tenga. <laughs> Uh, 
I love 3D printers, but this is just taking so long. You need to get one of those big 3D printers that prints out concrete houses. You know, that would be actually very, very fun to have. Like, I would build my own statues. I don't remember no, what company it is. You put my statue of me. <laughs> to imagine one of those though. getting into the wrong hands. Right now, this print that I'm doing is currently 1,485 layers. I'm currently on layer 97. Oof. Oof, indeed. Estimated time, six hours. What are you printing? A weird shape. I forget what it's called. A weird shape, got it. Um, a bombok. That's what it's called. You weren't, you weren't spelling that for me? Or showing me what that weird shape looks like? Uh, sending you a picture just now. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it in a... Uh, where am I putting it at? Probably art? I don't know. Yeah. I'll, I'll put it in the art. Uh, just put it in the not safe for work and confuse a bunch of people. All right, pictures in there. Oh, the big fucking rock, apparently. It looks like a rock, but it's a weird shape because it always, like, no matter which way you put it, it always rolls back to the to that way to that shape. Oh, so it's a weevil wobble. Yeah. Practically, my uncle said he wanted one, so I said, okay, I'll print it for you. He's like, I'll pay you for it, and I'm like, oh, sweet, okay. Close down some tabs.
the wolfies died. Okay, so Jiry Jetty, what was your score for the roll? A four. That's right. Okay, so let's see here. You go there, then it goes four one. Okay, so correction. The order is two K cups five six. Uh, Maya Rowan enemy Jetty enemy enemy. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay. Now, as you holler out, asking for Justine, you hear a gentle rumble around you. As several plants seem to uproot themselves, you can see withering bloody bones pulling free of the vines. You are being attacked by needle blight. The first one is right here. I'm going to get some tokens put out. My eyes will never forget what I have seen today. <laughs> what have you seen today? I have one word that sums it up. Kermit Trigger. the Frog. Oh god, wait. Did you finally oh. see that? Oh god. No, I feel so sorry. I was mm -hmm. so tempted to at you. I should have added you. Oh. I know you usually try to catch me out with these things so you can hear my reaction purely, but practically whilst he was gone, I just, I was like, <laughs> It's okay, I can watch the recording back later. <laughs> it's a good thing you didn't hear anything there. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. Okay, that's... There was no sound from me. Oh, gosh. Did, did Wolfie see Amaya's new design? Huh? Did you see Amaya's new design? No. no. I'll post it. Thank you. Okay, all of the ones listed as my new characters are enemies. I posted it in Socially Awkward Adventure. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. I love I the green. I went hard on the purple, but purple works. Purple works. Purple works really cutely. Especially with emerald eyes. Oh, wait, which, which, which chat? The Socially Awkward Adventures. Oh, it's adorable. He's a cute Love. little bard. A sweet teenage bard. No. Actually, I think uh, Wolf might be. He is? No. no. Nice. Okay. Oh. So, first one is going to throw a needle attack. It is a ranged weapon. It is aiming at Ravener. Range weapon, plus three to hit, range 30 feet, one target. Okay. Go 
to the correct chat. <laughs> I did this. Three. And what is your armor class, Rowan? My armor class is a 13. And that hits. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and... 2d6 plus 1. You take seven damage and you are pierced. Wait, so Ravner got damaged? Yes, Ravner took seven HP damage. Hmm. Hmm. Neat. 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 Up next is Tanga. Which one would you like to do? What would you like to do, buddy? Um, You're in a fight. There's six plant monsters surrounding you, and they, to your knowledge now, can throw thorns at you that go through your body. Yes. What would you like to do, bud? I am thinking. That's okay. Not much I can do. Well, you have attacks and stuff. Yes. But which ones will not get me run through? You have to resign yourself to sometimes you're gonna get stabbed. Yes, I know. <laughs> but I am a cautious one. Well, hurry up. You got three other people in line, fam. Oh, I guess with... I shall smack it with my quarterstaff. What is your range on the quarterstaff? Uh, five feet? There is nothing within five feet of you. Would you like to move okay. to one of them first? Well, I suppose. Okay, I believe you have a movement speed of 30. So yes. you can move six tiles. Where would you like to move? The closest one. That is, that is rather. That's a, that's your friend. Well, maybe, friend. We're not entirely sure. Yeah, there's one right next to him. That's not his friend. This is Ravener. This is Ravener. This, this is you. Ravener here. It's not. That one is very far away from you still. You have Wait, to which one him. hit me? This one hit you. Oh, the range attack. Yep. I see one right here. Interesting. Does anyone else see a token here? Uh, no. no. Kika's I see this one here. I see this a one token here. in front of Ravener. Three. There's a token Four. here? Yeah, Five. there's a token yeah. right next to Ravener. Okay. Anyone who sees a token here, please reload. That does see one or doesn't see one? If you see a token where I'm clicking, reload. What color are you? I'm blue. Okay, I got it. There we go. Okay, is it gone? Yes. Okay. I'm very sorry about that. Is and everyone that can see... To this one. Okay. That works. What is your... Uh, what is the hit die for it? Uh, reach is five... Hit DC is plus four and damage is one D six plus two. Okay, so you're gonna roll one D twenty plus four to see if it hits. You have to beat out their okay. armor class to hit them. If you do hit them, then you roll for damage. No, I missed the space. It's okay. There we go. Okay, you hit. Go ahead and roll your damage this time. It'll be something like 2d7, 2d6, plus something. Uh... 
Okay, let's see here. You managed to you managed? very quickly wound the third in line. Okay, up next is five. Five is going to make a clawed attack against Mango. No. Okay, that definitely beats out the armor class. <laughs> 2d4 plus 1. Mango takes 7 damage. Okay. Then is number 6. Number 6 is going to aim at Amaya for a twined attack. My, does that beat your armor class? That beats my armor class. Ah. Uh. You take seven damage. <laughs> Woo! Up next is your turn, though. I will, uh... Pick the cantrip and the radiant. Okay. Which one does that one do again? Uh, you throw constitution. Gotcha. And it will hit the, the character. Which character? Okay, perfect. I rolled a 20. Ah, uh, that fucking makes it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, next up is Rowan. Ravener, sorry. It's, I know we miss him so much. <laughs> I'm so sorry, they both start with an R. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. We've got so far. <laughs> but anyways. In the end, I don't even think it mattered. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love you, don't change, please. <laughs> Thank you so much. Alright, Ravener, what would you like to do, bud? <laughs> Ravener will turn to face, uh, what, what was this put? What was it? Was it a thing or a creature or a person? It is a vine, or sorry, a needle blight. It is essentially a sentient bloodthirsty plant. Cool. Ravener's going to pull out his glaive, walk straight up to it, and slash it back. All right, go ahead and roll that hit die. Yee. <laughs> I really hope you hit it. I really hope I hit it too. Uh, con uh, where's where's roll the con save? Damn it! There it is. Please, please hit, please hit. Eh. No. You missed. I know. You unfortunately missed time to step, counterbalanced, and I would like you to roll a deck save to see if you end up getting knocked prone. <laughs> it's okay. It's a low hit to clear, but at this point, I don't put anything above you. You clear it. You are not knocked prone. You have no buffs. Okay. After Ravener is number three. Which is going to Let's see here. Wait, number three? What about me and my four? No, no, I have them numbered for my sake. It's one, two, three, four, five, six characters. Oh. So number okay. three is just my third person. Okay. And they are going to aim directly through the open door at Jiri. 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 <laughs> I swear. God damn it, Jerry. I swear I can do this. Alright, 11. What is your armor class, Jerry? 16. Perfect. Okay, it missed. After that is yourself. What would you like to do? Is what? It's your turn. 
Oh. Call the little little plant a bitch and attack it back. <laughs> it, it is ranged from you. What attack are you gonna use? Am I rolling anything? Uh, I'll have. I, oh, I had to zoom in on the map to see where the actual door was. No. Oh. Yes, door is here. Ah. Oh. Okay, so just yeah, you know, casually saunter out and uh. I assume this one that's my new character is one of said bad guys. Yes, this is the one that just hit you. I, I did not see a ping. Wait, that one way down there? Yep. He had a clear line of sight to you, and you were within his pierce damage. Wow. Well, I mean, I can't move that far. <laughs> that's okay, that's what I was saying. You can call it a bitch uh... all you want, but I don't think you're going to be able to hit him. <laughs> eh, they're plants. They all look the same. <laughs> You're not wrong. Wow. That's plantus. <laughs> insulting. So, how do attack rolls work for finesse attack? Is it still just the mm -hmm. proficiency bonus on a d20? Let me double check. Finesse attacks use dex, I believe, or strength. Yeah, finesse, I know they use dex for the damage. I don't remember if they add that to the hit or if it's just the proficiency bonus. Is is finesse an ability or a feat? It finesse is a weapon thing. Yeah, if you're using a rape here. Oh, okay. If you, if you're using a weapon with finesse, you either add your strength mod or your dexterity mod. Uh, the damage is, I believe, dexterity? Yeah. It's just I didn't know if it was also used on the hit or it if that was indeed. just proficiency. No, it is indeed I... used on the hit. I just double checked. Okay, so it'll it's just be a d20 mm -hmm. and... Uh... Fourteen, you hit. And Excellent! You said... I'm gonna burn a spell slot for That's Divine cool. Smite. Are you doing this guy? Uh, yeah. Um, Divine Smite is after I hit a creature, I can burn a spell slot to do bonus radiant damage. Ooh. So... Is that gonna hurt Amaya and Mango? No. Okay. It is only the uh, target that I hit. Okay. Just gotta check. Uh, rapier's a D8. And then... The radiant damage. Mm -hmm. Uh, would these creatures classify as undead or fiends? Um, no. Okay. They're classified as creatures, technically. Ooh. And in one single hit, you have managed to kill it. Yay! Damn! Alright, next up... That is a spell slot used. Yes. Let's see here. Alright, next up is number one. Right, and they are going to be aiming at Tango. <laughs> Tango, I know that I just beat your armor class. So don't even worry about it. Maybe worry about it. <laughs> My armor class is 13. I know. That's why I said I don't know. I just pierced you. You have 10 damage taken. Ouch. Yeah. And after that, it's number two. Back again. With those new vans. They're gonna do a slash bite attack on Ravener. They get a 12. Does that beat your armor class? No. Okay. Because of the type of attack, would you like to take an advantage roll to see if you can hit them with your glaive? An advantage roll? Meaning you can try I... and do a small... Like, you can do half damage to them if you hit. Would I be able to add on my, um... Polearm 
feet as well to get a second attack in. No. I just realized that. I'll was... take it anyways. Alright, go ahead and roll to see if he hits. Oh, wow. I mean, to be fair, you did still just one shot it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you definitely nope. hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. And remember to half hit. Yep. Uh, let's see. Roll 1d10. Plus 3. Perfect. So that'll be a 3? No, you already... Didn't you I didn't half it. Oh. So that'll be a four. Oh, okay. I always go on the high end. Cool. All right. And with that, next up is Tango once again. I believe I would like to cast a cantrip. Okay, and what are you casting? Thunderclap. What does Thunderclap do again? You create a burst of thunderous sound that can be heard up to 100 feet away. Each creature within range other than you must succeed in a constitution saving throw or take 1d6 thunder damage. The spell's damage increases by 1d6 when you reach 5th level, 11th, and 17th. Okay, I am going to stop you really quick before you finish this, okay? Okay. And think about this really, really hard. Are you honing on Tango is the one doing this, right? Huh? Tango's the one doing this, right? Yes. Okay. Tango. When Jairi just used a loud voice, six of these things showed up. Do you mm -hmm. really, really, really want to make more noise? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I take that as you saying that there will be more. There and then will, we will be certainly die. There will be consequences if you do that. And it might there not just be. There will be blood. <laughs> yeah, there would definitely be blood. TPK. TPK. <laughs> not on the actual second session, please. <laughs> Let me have a little bit of fun <laughs> in my universe. <laughs> Okay. Fine. What would you like to do instead? Then I shall smack them again. Alright, go ahead and roll to see if you hit. Oh. Don't you just love DND? &D? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. The concept was very funny in my brain of Tango just like, oh, yes, yeah, sound? Sound! So you definitely hit, so go ahead and roll your damage. And you're aiming for the same guy, right? Yep. Okay. <sighs> Alright, five. He's hobbling. What is this bludgeoning thing, and why do I have two of them under damage? Uh, it's a quarter staff, right? Yeah. Yes. Technically, you can attack twice with a quarter staff, one with each end. If you have pull on master, yeah. Which case yeah, does, does not. <laughs> but that's how come. Okay. All right. He is hobbling. You can tell he is in pain and barely struggling to hang on. He is still alive, however. Okay. Next up is five. They are going to aim at Amaya this time. Oh, okay. Does that beat your armor class? Huh? 18. That hits my... That hit. That hit. Fuck me. I mean, only if you ask. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's see here. This yep. one. You get six damage. Okay, I'm still rather okay. Good, because the next one's aiming right at you, too. Uh, okay. 
I guess this is what I get for being the leader. So, 17 still hits, right? Yeah. For future reference, my AC is 13. You get 12 points of damage. Shit my boots. Please don't shit your boots. <laughs> I don't know how you exactly clean that out. Alright, after that, it's your turn. Um. Do 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 Okay, no, I don't want that one. I'm just gonna <laughs> cure myself here. Go for it. I cast... I cast Cure Wounds at a second level. Good, your piercing damage is gone, at least. So that's 2d8 plus my spell casting mod, that's 3. Are you rolling or am I rolling? I'm oh, rolling. rolling. There it is. Discord was just very slow. Rolling, rolling, rolling. No, it's Ravener, Ravener, Ravener. Seven! Seven. Okay, good. You you regained the first attack. Okay. I'm, After that I'm is... Left. Huh? Wait, what'd you say, Amaya? I'm left dead! Yeah, at least that. Okay, Ravener, it is your turn. Yay! I'm going to attack my new friend. Go for it. Essentially, Ravener's just looking very serious at a plant and slashing it down. Bit by bit. And with one single hit, you kill it. Wait, what? Even the damage? Did I wait? Did I roll the damage? Nope. I just killed it. You managed to get it on the one roll that it has for its weak spot. Okay. I'll snap. Okay. And then I'm going to move up to Mango. Sounds good, fam. Okay. <laughs> after that is gonna be do 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 number three. This one's going to aim right at Jiri again. Sixteen. Does that beat your AC again? It doesn't beat it. It matches it. I forget. Does match hit or does it not? It does not. Match hits. I don't know if it does or not. going to Google. Hold on. To the Google. <laughs> Only if it succeeds over, so no, it does not hit. Okay, and with that, is your turn, Jiri? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and move. That's 15, 25. You're right next to me. Gonna, 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 gonna slap that next one with the, with the rapier. Go for it. And you succeed? Gonna burn another spell slot for Divine Smite. Do it. And this time I'm going to remember to put my decks on for the damage. Please do. Let us see the full strength of the smitening. Okay. Whoop. Knock a couple things over. I believe that was the sound of the smite. I rolled a 1 on the 1d8 and then got an 8 on a 2d8. I am so upset at my rolls. 
It's okay, you still killed you got, it. You got a min-max. <laughs> okay, that one is officially dead. And that is another spell slot burned. Okay, up next is gonna be Tanga. I would like to slap it again. <laughs> Go ahead and roll your hit die, boy. Just keep slapping, just keep <laughs> slapping, just keep slapping, slapping, slapping. Gosh, Demi might just so end up else missing I a whole session. Murder us all. What is Demi? Demi's at therapy. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna poke them, though. Is he gonna join us later, probably? Well, I was hoping so, but we're kind of mm -hmm. starting to wind down towards the finale of the session. Okay, K Cups, you got an 8 for your hit. Oh, you did hit. Okay, so it's an 8. Let's see here. He is officially dead. Hooray! Yeah! Alrighty, and after that is going to be number 5, which is aiming directly at Ravener. Oh, he misses for sure. <laughs> and next one up is still going to aim at Ravener. 14, does that hit? Uh, that hits. How wait, 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 that one tried and that one tried? Jesus Christ. Yeah. They both have ranged attacks, fam. Gl glad I'm seen as the threat. <laughs> I'm gonna be. I two of them. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's also the fact of like, you're the one I'm least worried about murdering. <laughs> to be fair, I worry That's so fair. much about the death that has ensued. You take six points of damage. Hooray! And with that, it is Amaya's turn. <sighs> Alrighty. Just keep it updated on the last You're going to cost what? Oh, did I did that not go through? No. No, I was waiting oh, for a dramatic reveal. I'm gonna cast Glacial Blade. Okay. What does that one do again? As a part of an action used to cast a spell, you must make a melee attack against one of the creatures within spell range. Okay. If otherwise the spell fails. When it hits the target, suffers through attack normal effects, and it becomes encased in a sheaf of ice for the start of your next turn. If the target uses the attack, you need to make a weapon attack and it immediately takes 1d8 cold damage. Ooh. Very nice. And which one would you like to cast this on? I don't know how long your spell casting distance is. Uh. Five feet, so I'm gonna move. Go ahead and move. It <laughs> just attacks Mango. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna yeah, stab it's... Mango in the head. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I'm surprised you haven't been using Mango at all. Okay, go ahead and roll your hit die. So this is my side. Huh? It doesn't, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, that's in the wrong yeah. one. <laughs> That's why I didn't see it. It doesn't matter anyway, unless you want me to re-roll. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, up next is Ravener. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> what would you like to do, buddy? I- I would like to kill that one, uh, 
Yeah, that one. <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll to see if you hit it, buddy. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta kill it. <laughs> We're gonna hope you do. You do not. <laughs> Let's see here. That one is okay. You magic. You managed to get another eleven. So thankfully, you don't actually have to roll. He just dies. He gets so scared. He just fucking dies. I lift up the glaive. The plant's like ah, dies from fear. There he goes. Okay, there is one left over, and Jiry, it is your turn. Gonna saunter up to it. Ah. Uh... Just gonna, just gonna share this with it. Uh, so, as Jerry approaches it, just a very casual. Uh, dropped it there in a cup of spoiler. <laughs> Since it attacked me through the door. <laughs> a plus plus. He, the plant monster, does raise what appears to be twiggy eyebrows at you. He's like, oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you doing over here? You miss. Aww. Darn. It is now Tango's turn. Wow. <laughs> I'm pretty far away from it, aren't I? Yes. Uh, you, you could. Are yeah, you five, can make 10, it in 30 feet. 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, you can make it in 30 feet. Two. So you can move, like, right here. You don't have to move block by block, bud. You I don't have to there. move. You don't I, I have would to move. Like to know how tall it is. <laughs> it is six foot eight. It's a little tall. It's a big twig. <laughs> I would like to use my mold earth cantrip and put it into a pit. Take out the earth underneath of it. I do not recommend that. Are you sure you want to do that? Why ever not? Because you'll find out when you investigate the house. Fine, then I shall smack it. Alright. There you go. You learned how to move. Okay, roll your hit die, bud. Mold earth, ground crumbles, Jiri falls into pit with it. I was going Listen to put here, it in you pit little shit. So You're you not allowed to it. know these things. <laughs> 23 definitely hits. It's an unnat, so I'll give you double damage. Roll your hit. I'll be right back. I'm going to go to the washroom real quick. Go free! So, you uh... learned from me bringing down a mountain on everyone, so. I would hope so. You gotta be way careful. Oh, <laughs> good job, buddy. You killed it. Aww. I just wanted to wound it so he could have revenge. <laughs> okay. I mean, it attacked, but it didn't hit. Yeah, it... Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> okay, with the Maya in the bathroom and everything, you guys are free to explore the rest of the house, the rest of the yard. I'm going to shout again. I really? am not no. going to let you. <laughs> I am smarter than that. Wait, where where is he? Where is he? I don't see him in the house. He's not in the house. He moved way over here. Uh, he's come back to yell again. I'm going to smack him. <laughs> no, but I, I am going like to help you, to... Ravana investigate the area to see if there's any mistletoe or shamrock leaves anywhere. Uh, go ahead and roll your uh, plants. What is the plant one again? Nature? Hold on. <clears throat> it's nature, Sorry, yeah. I'm back. It's okay. So, uh, Tanga managed to one-shot it. He got an unnat 20. I gave him double damage. So you are now free to explore the house, the yards, and K-Cups, you can roll the nature check to see if you find any of those plants. Eh. And while that nature check's happening, I'm going to make the little wiggle fingers at Ravna and use lay on hands. <laughs> what, what are you doing? 
Can I you heal me up? up? <laughs> I, I am touching you up while also healing your boo boos. <laughs> I I I'm not sure how I feel about this touching. I, I mean, whilst I, whilst, whilst I am grateful for the healing, I am not yeah. too sure about the touching. Did I find anything? You did not find anything. Uh, with what, what do I have for lay on hands? I have a pool of 15 HP that I can use to heal, so yeah, I'll just heal you back for the full 15. Yay! Is that how much HP you have? Uh, lay on hands is, um, per paladin <laughs> level, I have 5 HP in a pool that I can oh, use. Oh, right, right, right. I thought it was how much HP you had. Jesus Christ. No, oh, no, no, I have 28 at max. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm like, I was thinking a paladin at 15 the HP at level 3? Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's a soft boy. It is a soft boy! I like the fact that if you change the health to 0, it done it does like a little... Yeah, it does a little <laughs> skull on you. I love it. I would like to investigate the kitchen. Okay. Please. Actually, no, I changed my mind. I would like to investigate the ruins you are of the not area that I to, smashed. You are not able to get in there. <sighs> go through the hole to get in there. The hole is right here, but it does not go into this room. Essentially, K-Cups took out part of the door and the bricks. Ravna is going is inside. Am I able to get into the bedroom? Is yes. This, this... Bedroom is open. I, I will investigate in here. You can see a couple lit candles around the room. There seems to be a note, a potion of health, a very large dragonborn bed, a cluttered desk, and an open book with a quill on it, with writing in common. Can I check out what's in the book? Yes, you may. I roll investigation, right? Yes. Ravner is going to try his magic sense again. All right. Oh shit, no, sorry! <laughs> Wait, what? What happened? I... Yes? That was a typo. <laughs> that was a typo! We can keep the 17. We can keep this. Oh god, we're keeping the 17. Okay, please keep the 17. I, I am going to roll my investigation in this room as well. Okay. Cause, okay, perfect. So, Amaya, you just investigated the book. You can read it, you can see what it's written in. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> no. Nah. Um, uh, sorry. So, Amaya, as you look into the book and everything, you can see that there's actually a small quill bowl. It seems to be filled with a red liquid, one that you should be able to recognize from the first set of ruins you originally went to. It's very warm and still hot to the touch. You could tell it was freshly boiled before you guys got here. Inside of the book, you can see what looks like Justine's handwriting, but very wiggly, very unsteady. Inside, she's detailing a specific spell, but you don't know enough about her magic to be able to understand it. It's druidic. High level. Can Mango read it? You can ask him. <coughs> I asked Mango to read it. Mango, Mango? Mango. Mango. And he draws a little circle on the book. Mango, Mango. Mango. And he kind of points at the bowl. Mango, Mango, Mango. Mango, and he kind of makes like a slashing motion across his arm. Mango. Mango. Okay. And give me one sec, I'll translate the mango for you. Because <laughs> I can pretend to understand all I want. I, did, I, did, I don't. Am I, I would like to walk up and read it as well. You can investigate it to see if you can read it. <laughs> I can read it. I understand that language. Yes, it's the fact that what it's detailing is a high-level druid spell. Oh, okay, fine. I'm gonna stab you. What do I have to do for that? Give me a second. Investigation. Hold on. 
You don't know yeah. enough. Yeah. I will. I literally thought he was asking, "How do I make you stab me?" or something like that. Tenga takes three damage of piercing from a needle he left in his leg. What? You take three damage from a needle that's been left in your leg. Where did that even come from? From me stabbing you. <laughs> hmm. Alright, now shut up and let me type. Hold on, bud. Okay. Okay, now that that has been typed, in order, <laughs> Ravener, did you still want to cast the Detect Magic? Yes, Ravener's magic sense. Okay, you do in fact sense something very big, very dark, and just kind of emanating from in front of you, and it feels like it might be underground. Oh my. K-Cups. You do not know do about not enough know. about druids to understand this spell. Even with Why? investigation. I can roll another d4. <laughs> you butt. Can we not? Can we not? <laughs> Bloodlet the, the only other druid to death? <laughs> but what if we did? Okay. Okay. Uh, K cups, would K -cups. you like to do anything like to else? That doesn't require you to get stabbed. I would like to run away from the DM so that they cannot hurt me anymore. You'd have to leave the game for that. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, who would like to do something? Now that I've gotten all that typed Ra out. Ravna is going to uh, say, Amaya, there seems to be a... Uh huge source of magic below us. I say we go check that out. I'm not sure about that. that. I guess I will pocket the healing potion that was in the room. Go ahead. And this will be a prime opportunity as well to open up the bag of holding since that's where I would store it. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. So, are you, any of you familiar with what's known as a holding grenade? No. Holding grenade no. or holy grenade? Holding grenade. Cool, no. Alright, so a fun fact for you guys. When you turn a bag of holding inside out, it rapidly ejects its entire contents in a split second. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, whenever you turn it inside out. Your bag of holding okay, yeah. is full of knives. Ah! So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not turning it inside out. I know. There is no room for the healing potion. When you finally open it, you look inside and you see nothing but knives. Nothing but knives. <laughs> There's only knives. Okay, just so knives. I, only knives. I, I, I would just like to point out, as, as far as I remember, a bag of holding has a maximum carry capacity of, I think it's 30 square feet or 50 pounds. Yours is That's a lesser. A knives. Yours is a lesser. You can carry five pounds of knives. I am going to, one at a time, remove the knives and just drop them on the floor. <laughs> Unless any of them look valuable. Most of them look valuable. Oh... You have about it's, seventy-one it's, it's drink the potion, knives. My dude. Just drink the potion, my dude. Ravna's gonna be like, do you want me to hold the potion for you? Yes, hold the potion. 
Sorry, I should be speaking more shy, because Ravna is technically kind of shy. A shy barbarian, I love it. It's wonderful. Well, I mean, I'm like a half-demon paladin, too. I mean, there, there's a reason to be scared of you. <laughs> By the way, guys, uh, oh, I want, if anyone wants some bonus HP, if anyone can sing the song, Johnny's got a gun, but with Jairi's got a grenade, I'll give you bonus HP. Jairi's got a bomb. Alright, you get full health. <laughs> I'm happy with that. <laughs> I have to look it up. <laughs> you can try it. I'll give you some HP if you can do it. I mean, I had only lost four, so it's not like it was that big of a deal for me. That's why I didn't drink the potion, too. Oh, that's why you didn't drink the potion? Yeah. I wasn't that hurt. Uh, I forgot. Did someone investigate the rest of the room or anything? Yeah, I uh, investigated the room as a whole. Did you look? Ravna's thinking about breaking a door down. You can try. Uh, where was my... Yeah, I got a 19 on my just, like, general room investigation. Okay. Next to the candles, you also see a note that is scrawled in Draconic. I can cast comprehend languages. I can't read this. <laughs> can, anyone read, can anyone read Draconic before I cast comprehend languages? Uh, one second. I don't speak lizard. Nope. Nope. Mango only speaks mango. <laughs> okay, I cast comprehend languages. When you finally comprehend the language and you see what's on the page, it's kind of damning. You read that you and Mango have been missing for ten years. Things have moved on without you. She searched for other adventuring parties. The kits grew up and had babies of their own. The quest went on and died multiple times. And at the very bottom, you can see, I hope this works. And that is the end of the note. Shit. Is there something you're not telling of the rest of us? I thought I told you in the first session. Yes, you did, but no one believed you. Ravna's going to break the door down. Okay. Go ahead and roll that damage. Oh, damage. Okay. <laughs> well, I, th I thought d breaking doors was just a strength check. No, it is. I Sorry. It is just a strength check. I just like calling it damage because you're ramming your body into a door. You rolled a six and oh, you no, failed. I, I used a glaive on it. <laughs> oh, you used a glaive? No, roll a strength check, bud. Sorry. Yeah, that's why I did 1d20 plus 5. Ah, <laughs> I thought that was your strength. Nope. Good, good, good news, you can try again. It's not like the door's going anywhere. 1d20 plus 5. Why not? Ah. You managed so to, hit... to hit the door. You managed to hit the door square on. And it gives quite a bit. And thankfully it prevents you from barreling into the room. As you feel the lock break. The door is now unlocked. Woo, we're unlocked. You did it. Tango, do you want to go in first? I would like to see why it is that we don't want him barreling into the room first. Just poke your head in then? Yes. You can see directly in front of the door is a couple bookshelves, two large empty chairs, a pile of books, lit candles on a circular table, and what appears to have been a fight. There's scratches, claws, and fire marks across the entire room. The stone is blackened, and the floor is still warm to the touch. She was just here, then. There's also blood. Against the window. How much blood? A lot of blood. 
have to get out of my shy voice because this is Ravna we're talking about. Um, Amaya? Yeah? It looks like there was a fight in this room. Yeah? I think someone strong came for your friend. I think he might be out there. Out there or underground? Outside somewhere. Hmm. Well, there's still can the tell, big can map we, book. Can we tell if the window is broken from the outside or from the inside? The window's not broken. It's just coated in blood. Okay, then we can't tell much of anything. You All oh, you can see is that the I, blood is from the inside. Hey. Let's, okay, let's, so she probably left. Let's 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 pull a beyond human. Let's see if we can do an investigation like a crime scene detective and piece together what went down. You one hundred percent can try. Yeah, why not? Roll investigation. I'll roll. Never mind. So <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Don't worry. Hold on, hold on. Investigator K cups the rescue. Perfect. Because, Jiry, as you look around, all you can really find out is that this dragonborn had one hell of a paper cut. I, I, I was just about to say, it's like, I walk in, I investigate, it's like, guys, <laughs> guys, I don't mean to alarm any of you, but I'm like 90% certain this is a room. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not much of us did a lot better. Yeah. Gonna... Ravna's just like, yeah, no, no, he's right. This, this, it's, it's a room. We, it's a room. Did we just legit pull up three fucking nat ones in a row? Yes. Yeah, yeah we did. We so... are brain dead. <laughs> we're fucking fucking. <laughs> we're not just brain dead. We're comatose. <laughs> One paper cut. This is a room. One paper cut. Huh. I wonder why the blood doesn't leave. She must still be in the room. Huh, a paper cut. Another one. Huh. Looks like she really didn't like that punch. <laughs> and then the only one that doesn't get a nat one. It's fucking Tanga. Diary? No, Tanga. Tanga, Tanga. rather. Sorry, I get it's your okay. character confused. So, Tanga. Investigator cups. As you look around the room, you are the only one. In the sea of cute, <laughs> to realize what actually happened. The dragonborn was sitting at the chair. There was another person with them in the room. Something broke out from underneath the ground. In defense, the dragonborn used most of her spell slots, including fire spells, to try and damage the enemy. In the end, she ended up losing a lot of blood. The earth around the floor is molded earth. There's a cave underneath of you. Okay, so I'm gonna go in the cave. Well, unless Tanga tells us there's a cave, none of us yeah. have any clue that there's anything out of the ordinary in this room. It's just the room. It's yeah. I mean, I mean that's not even blood on the window. For all we know, that's paint. I mean, to be fair, Ravener does in fact think the window paint is punch. Okay, oh, so it, it could be Kool Aid. All right, Tango. What would you like to do with this information? Very bitter Kool Aid. I, I would like to examine the entrance. Okay, the entrance to the door or the entrance to the cave. The entrance to the cave. You will have to use your mold earth to be able to do that. Okay. Are you sure? There is no going back when you do this. And you guys have literally only gone in three fucking rooms. Okay. Ravna's gonna check out the kitchen first. <laughs> Thank you. Please. <laughs> Is there any other room that is there not any other room that needs investigating? The pantry. Didn't didn't someone go in there first? Nope. I should oh, okay. continue looking around the room. 
I'm okay. checking the kitchen first. Would you like to roll investigation? Yeah, one more time. Why not? <laughs> I am scared to ask. <sighs> I knew it. Uh, you can see on the table there's this really nice like mug full of what lo looks like Kool-Aid. It looks is there any delicious. Food? <laughs> there looks to be some food on the cutting board still. Does the food look pristine or does it look rotten? Are you yeah, asking as a that. are you asking as a Maya or as Ravener who rolled a two? Ravener wants to know if the food looks good. The food this looks delectable. I lick it. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes delicious. That's hold how on. that's how the, the barbarian gets his food. Hold hold on, hold on. Before the barbarian licks any more of that food, let's 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 slice a piece off with one of the many knives in my bag of holding. <laughs> Would you like to use Ram the ornate knife, the cult knife, or the blackened obsidian knife? <laughs> Ravna oh, looks at like you. Right. Ravna looks at you, dead stares if you're about to touch his food that he's taken and lick out already. <laughs> Someone's food aggressive. Slice, slice off a piece. Uh, slice off the piece that he had licked and say that's his. He claimed it. Ah. Uh. Nothing happens when you cut into it, except that it seems to bleed a little. Almost like meat. It's the meat salad! Hello! Demi! You've missed so much! Um, I almost died! I had therapy, what do you want? Nothing, I, I don't... I meat. So, Kalodi... Kalodi finally gets to the scene of the crime. You have arrived at a witch's hut following the footsteps of your teammates. Do not, I swear to God, do not move to the right. The door is busted open and you can hear a commotion inside the house. What would you like to do, Kalodi? Oh, I would like to log into Astral. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I mean, fair. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, yeah, I completely forgot that you weren't in here yet. Okay. I wish to make a trade with Ravener. <laughs> you may make a trade with Ravener. For half of this meat, you can have any one of the knives in the bag. Your choice. Ravener puts the food down, looks at the bag of knives, what does he see? On the top layer alone, you can see the cult knife, the obsidian knife. You can also see what appears to be a ritualistic druid knife. And you can see a bone knife. Ravna's gonna take the obsidian knife. Alright. Damn it! <laughs> I will give you the stats for that knife later, but... Yep. He's not gonna use it, he's just taking it. Boxes of pizza. Huh? <laughs> What's happening? I said, Chloe walks in with boxes of pizza. <laughs> it's like, hey, wait, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, just a heads up though, Chloe, because of your weight, your movement is going to be halved. That way you don't end up setting anything off. <sighs> Sure. Um, You're do very... you like a perception check before I go in there to so that he knows this? Or... I'm gonna be honest. With as many ones as I've seen tonight, no. That just makes me want to roll it more. You can't. <laughs> you you know what? Fuck it. Go ahead, man. Let's let's get the ones going. Those those are always funny. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> We got three right. ones. We got three ones in a row for investigating yeah. a room we, we of blood. We successfully identified a room as a room. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> Ravner's gonna move to the pantry with his new obsidian knife and leave the food there on the table. Okay. That's sure. Ravner Gyre is what? going to feast. What are my Gyre, stats? are you sure oh. you do not want to investigate that meat before you feast? Jiri is going to feast. She has Jiri. not eaten since the campaign began. All right, Jiri, you go ahead and feast then. I'll tell you about that um, later. Where, 
Where are my stats at? Let me see here. Amaya but, forgets other people need to eat just because she's an elf and she doesn't need to eat. I just need to know what my what my my mod is before I do the roll. It's low low Discord. It has denied you. So your strength is sixteen, Dex is twelve, Con eighteen, intelligence twelve, wisdom sixteen, charisma thirteen. So a plus one then? Yep. For for the end and in, in, in this <coughs> case, y'all. Yep, plus one. Investigation. Uh, Died. What does that get me? Where are you? What was it? A nine? You are able to tell that the floor is not stable, and that is all you understand about what's going on. Okay. As far as you can tell, there is a housewarming party going on. I, there's a house going on? What did you say? A housewarming party. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see here. We're basically um, about to break another house. <laughs> that's We're one way trying. to have a housewarming party. Um, do I, does Cloney know why we're breaking into the house, or is he just nope. seeing his comrades doing it? And so he's like, why are you... Oh, by the way, as you enter the house, there is a large hole and half of the door is gone. So I'm gonna lean in. I'm gonna I'm gonna lean in and I'm be like, "What's going on? Hi, guys. Uh, why are we breaking and entering?" Food. Raven pops pops his head out. I'm looking for food. Okay. Um. But but did, did you need to break into a house to do that? We're having a book to set out again. No, but yeah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Can I like tell if this house is like occupants or is it like an abandoned house? Like what's going on? It was actually no, occupied. Ravana, po Ravana pops his head out for a third time. There's a big magical presence oh, underground, I'll but it right hasn't back. attacked us yet, so we're fine. Uh, yeah, there were also like the, the the tall twig things that attacked us outside. Tall twig things? Um, I look around for said tall twig things. Are they still like are they dead out there or what? I'm asking the DM a question. Wolfie DM Wolfie's bounced. God has left us. We are forsaken. <laughs> I have a question. Does fine traps go underground as well? Uh, I believe if you're underground yourself. Yeah, you would still have to be like near it. Just it to, just I, don't think you, I don't even think it tells you that there is like where the trap is specifically. I think it just tells you no, that there is a trap. Tells you that there is. It's 120 it a... feet of range. And it doesn't tell you about natural stuff. But it tells you about anything else. Yeah, so it's like if if the floor is weak and it's going to collapse as a trap, you won't know uh won't detect that. But if there's yep. a crossbow and an alcove down a hallway with a pressure plate, you'll sense that. Yes. Okay, guys, just a heads up. Once we get to the start of the cave or the underground area, you are sadly going to have to wait till the next session. That so, is fine. fine. Can, 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 we, can we tell? Oh, right. Um, Cloney, Cloney was looking around for the stick things that they were talking about. Oh, yeah, there's just dead stick people all across the yard. Six of them total. Cloney feels empathetic pain given what he's made out of. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they are the, they are the uh, needle blight. Does Cloney look upset? <laughs> Cloney looks disturbed. 
It's like, mm, mm. <laughs> it's like, uh, that, that's big, big close to home. <laughs> considering what he's, considering his actual body right now. Ravner just looks out again. Don't worry, you're not one of them, so we're not gonna kill you. Yet. Oh, great, thank you. I wasn't asking, but that, that, that's great reassurance. Um, Speaking of Wolfie, can, can I know what sort of meat Jiri has consumed? Oh, you've consumed needle blight meat. You are poisoned. Oh. By the way, I didn't know the pigs had meat. Yep. They bleed. Point me to the meat trees. <laughs> Uh, so, in uh, case, just because I'm guessing none of you actually know, blights of three different varieties are actually caused by one type of tree, which is essentially made from a dead vampire. Oh! They are sentient, blood-running, hot creatures that just require blood to live. Lovely. Oh, well, he's gonna summon his uh, copy and have the copy go into the room. Into the house or into the room? Into the house, yes. Okay, so we'll just pretend like you're out here. You can move your not... regular around. I'm not. Uh, okay, gee, so you don't want to do the copy thing? Because <laughs> uh, I cannot find where it is, and I, I have to search through. Honestly, any 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 substitute token would be fine. And then just write clody clone. Mm. Or clony. You know what, fuck it, that's too good of a pun. And Jiri's gonna go into a corner and start evacuating I'm her not stomach. Sure what the weight of my clone is, because I know it's like a glowy thing. Uh, it so is twenty-five it's... pounds technically. Okay, so it should be able to walk around the room. Hold on, I'm waiting. For I, cannot, the... I cannot control my clone. It is currently updating. Hold on. Remember, because last time it took a minute too. Uh -huh. I see Clooney. Yeah. Okay, there we go. All right, enjoy. All right, Clone uh, tests the path uh, to see which uh, where where Colody can step. Colody can step on everywhere that is not the center of the rug or okay. the center of this room. So the clone's like testing the carpet, and then it's like, ah, uh -uh, don't, nope, don't go there. Yep. Uh, and and uh, and Claude and Claudie will follow behind the the clone okay. as, as it tests. Ravener, would you like to investigate the pantry? Yes, I would. Jiri, go ahead and just keep vomiting into this empty barrel. Uh, that's that is what she is doing. Uh, the other per people in the room they oh. just see uh, a glowy version of Colody that's just testing the ground, <laughs> testing the floor. Ravener, as you start looking around the pantry, you see a very small, microscopic, eensy, teeny weeny baby spider, and you get terrified. I love this. Just this big old fucking uh, barbarian scared of a little tiny baby spider. Is it gone? <laughs> Does Amaya have to go in there and deal with it? <laughs> yeah, probably. While you're out there, do you want to roll investigation in that room? Yeah, let's go! <laughs> I also love that you told absolutely no one what was inside that note still. Oh. 
Well, she doesn't seem to. She doesn't seem to need to worry at this second. Yeah. Fourteen. Oh, thank God! You managed to see that there is a pile of gold, a crate of food. There is a empty barrel, a barrel that is filled with mushrooms, and a barrel that is filled with a mysterious yellow bubbling liquid. Mm -hmm. You'll have to take the gold to be able to kill the spider. Well, I'm gonna take the gold and kill the spider. Alright, you managed to pocket one gold piece, three silver, and one bronze. And the spider is dead. So I go tell Ravager that the spider is dead. <laughs> Kalodi looks very confused and doesn't know what's going on. Welcome to <laughs> Tanga's also just like spacing out on this room. <laughs> Jiri, you are officially done throwing up. Would you like to do anything? Uh. Other than like. Do the whole minor cleanup. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, reconvene with the the rest of the party. I guess here at the, the center of the room, figure out what our next course of action is. Okay. Tango, would you like to keep investigating the room, or would you like to meet up with the rest of the party? I would like to see if there are any more spiders in the room. <laughs> Roll investigation. There are in fact several spiders in the room, including one large one in the corner. In the what? The corner. I would like to talk to it. Do, do you have that ability? I believe so. I Mango, forget also where it has, is, but... Mango also has the ability to speak with fighter. Mm -hmm. Well, I know Mango does, but I'm asking if... if I have speak with animals. Oh yeah, that does work. Okay. Oh. What would you like to ask that spider? What happened and where does this hole lead? The spider just kind of like shuffles around. He's like, big dragon go boom, hole go to nest. No fun. <laughs> it's nest or something else's nest. <laughs> There's a clear difference. <laughs> well, someone who knows animal speak will have to ask. I guess a mango's gonna okay. ask. Mango just kind of leans over to the spider, and you can hear gentle mango, 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 mango. And thankfully, Tanga can hear the response where the spider answers, not our nest, its nest, the orange one. Okay, dokie. So I would like to I'm inform going... everyone of everything I know about this room. All right. What do you say to them? You have to tell them. I don't remember. And that's why you have to take notes. There's a big fight, and stuff happened, and now there's a hole in the ground that leads to a cave. Well, there is not a hole yet. You have to use mold earth to get to the hole. Okay. There's no hole yet. There is a hole covered by rock again that has been molded there. There is a <clears throat> hole to be. Alright. Okay. Do you want me to go like, like, should I get rid of the cover? One second. Hold on. I had to quote that. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to quote that. Uh, what did you ask, Kalodi? I was asking uh, if uh, you you guys, if if I should, like, un un unblock the hole or something. <sighs> 
we have two options. Either I can move the earth from a safe distance, or we can have you walk on top of it and fall through. I can have my clone do it. Sinister Ravna? Your there clone is not that. heavy enough to set it off. No, okay. The only one who is oh, heavy not... enough to set it off is Kalodi. Everyone else is too light. K Cups has the ability to mold the earth. Ah, okay. Can you put Kalodi onto the hole? Hmm? Can we push Kalodi onto the hole? Yeah, you certainly can. <laughs> you just have to make a strength versus dex check. Oh, uh, fuck. A contested uh, strength versus just because <laughs> you ain't pushing me onto nothing. <laughs> like <laughs> I, I was, I was merely, I was mostly joking. I don't think Amaya is actually strong enough to push a warforge. Amaya isn't, but Mango is. He beefy Tabaxi. He should have beefy Tabaxi. <laughs> I will be right back. In that case, I would like to what call everyone right out of the room. Uh huh. What level are we right now? Three. Three. Okay. While Jiri is in the uh, washroom, does anyone want to investigate the kitchen before you irreversibly go into the hole? Uh, I'll check out the kitchen, I guess. All right, go ahead and roll investigation. I checked it out and found nothing. Well, you found meat. <laughs> Practically. And I didn't even eat it. Turns out it's poisoned. Yeah. Well, it wasn't poisoned. It was just poison. I'll be back in a second. I need to go to the right. Twelve. Why are you putting it in the spoilers? Fuck, I forget! I'm stupid! Ah, the lovely sound of eating poisoned meat just because you didn't know what it was. So as you look around, you can see that there is another potion of health on the table, another small pile of gold, some used dishes that haven't been cleaned yet, a mug of mysterious red liquid, and a barrel that is full of vomit. Can I take samples of oh. both the red liquid and the yellow bubbling fluid? Yes, you can. I also take that potion of healing. Hmm. That potion of healing on the table. Yes. It is a regular and... potion of healing, so it is a one d sixteen heal. One d what? Sixteen. I need. I need some healing. What did I miss? Amaya managed to find your vomit barrel. Oh. Why is it bubbling? No, that's not the bubbling liquid. This is the vomit barrel. That is the oh. bubbling liquid. I took the- I actually took the- the, the one of the bubbling liquid. I had hoped so that you weren't just sampling Jairi's vomit. Seven. A plus plus, good heal. I am relatively back in good shape. Okay. Would anyone like to do anything before you go in the hole? Uh, I guess mm -hmm. I... I can probably, uh, point out that given that it's dark, and I do have dark vision, I can take the lead. So I do also I. have dark vision? Who doesn't have dark vision? I don't think I do. Yeah, Ta Tanga is blind. Clody, are you blind? Clody? Clody? Do, do you have dark vision? It yeah. disappeared for a minute, didn't they're, they're oh, yeah. it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, they went they went somewhere for a second. Hold on. Well it doesn't matter, I cast light. Okay. So ha has anyone actually opened the hole yet? No. Okay. No. I I will prepare to do so. Always that lovely moment when majority of the team members all have dark vision and you don't, and all you can think to yourself is, 
What you say? Um, I'm not Druidic, I'm just an L. Oh. We're gonna wait. Elves just naturally have, have that kind of stuff. Well, since this is about to get wrapped up, does anyone have any questions from the session? I'm scared. <laughs> that is not uh... a question. Would when you since this isn't like the completion of a day, just a session, would yes. you still want me to do a write up? No. Although okay. you might want to make a small one so that you don't forget everything that happened in two weeks. Fair, fair. Uh, and on that, uh, given that I did cast Thaumaturgy earlier, I don't know if you rolled for its effect. I did. Alright, did anything come up from that? Nope. Not this time. Okay. To answer your question, though, I don't have dark vision. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Are well, I casted light so people can see. Okay, so we have three dark vision people, three blind people. Are you ready to open the hole? Yes. Which method are you using to open the hole? Uh, what does it are look like? Is it just soft earth? It's very soft earth. Just heavy enough, just fit thick enough to hold about a person and a half worth of weight. And Tenga has the ability to move Earth? Yep. Yes. Given that I'm the one that caused the whole kerfuffle at the start by being loud, I offer myself as tribute to stand on the Earth and have it opened up underneath me. But you can move Earth. No, no, because I, if, if there's because if there's anything down there waiting for us, I'd rather be on top of it and prep to like body what? tackle it on the way down. Oh, Are you gonna? Okay. Do you feel okay with this? I am one hundred and ten percent okay with this. You're gonna do it. I'm uh, not gonna stop you. But... Uh, are you sure? I am one hundred percent certain. Ravna just he looks at you. You don't seem like anything. you're okay. Oh, I'm fine. I mean, okay. I mean, they always have that saying, you know. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. You're not really fine. And you never understand. Hey, Tango, you ready to open up that floor? Yes. Right. Good. Open the ground beneath me. I as, am ready. As Tango begins to open the floor, everything... Pointedly from outside the room. You are outside the room. The only one inside the room is Jiri. Now. This is the this is that small room, right? Like in here. Yes. Okay. Don't worry though. It's, it, it's not gonna matter. Cause I am prepared. As soon as Tanga begins to move the earth, it quickly begins to crumble. The cantrip is not strong enough to be able to move everything out of the way in time. The entire building's floor collapses. You have crashed what down. Did you do? oh, the wait, entire you building. Yes? Yes, Claudia? The entire building's floor. Yep. Everything just caved in. You can see the bear do rug we... hanging from the ceiling. Do we, do, we, do we need to roll something? or? Nope. The earth is soft enough especially with the dirt being moved, that you do not take any damage on the way down. And Jiri was braced to fall. Exactly. There <laughs> is no enemies that you can see so far, but you can see scattered fresh blood, bones, large ancient abandoned bones, and the broken wood of the floor surrounding you. Is the smaller bones... Fresh bones? Yes. Yeah. And with that, we're gonna leave off the session. Anyone else have any questions? Yeah, what happened in the session in general? Uh, 
I'm actually going to be uploading the whole session on YouTube. Do you want me to just send you a link, or do you want us to actually like try and run it down? I just want, I just want the rundown. Uh, Basically. Go ahead. No, it's fine. No, no, you have the best like do-over voice. Do it. Oh no. <laughs> it's too late. Oh no. Oh no. But yeah, anyways. <laughs> God, <the fight. clears throat> oh man, how did this happen? <laughs> the party ended up going into the building. They fought a bunch of twig people. They ended up defeating said twig people, and they ended up getting inside the building, investigating, and not doing so well on the investigation, of which then you showed up. And then... Everything went to shit. Yeah, basically that's about it. So pretty much the key points are you guys established a home base camp. You moved along your quest. You found out that the earth is being rotted from the inside. Uh, the person that Amaya was looking for is most likely dead by the amount of blood that they lost. There was a mysterious scroll that Amaya didn't tell anyone about. There was a druid circle that only Mango could read. And Jairi set off a bunch of plant monsters by yelling too loud. Those are pretty much the important parts that you need to remember. Okay. Alright, any questions? No, uh, is there a rest in between sessions? Nope. Okay. Alright, I'll see you guys. Nope. You have to be level 3 for the next encounters. We have to be level 3, and then we just have to deal with any mess-ups that we do along the way. What was the name of the person we're here looking for again? Justine Time! Really? <laughs> <laughs> Did you... Have you forgotten about her name, Demi? I... Uh, yeah. I must have blocked it out. <laughs> <laughs> I can keep this running all day. I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> I worked so hard on that pun. I love it. Thank you. That's so why it deserved the music. Thank you. <laughs> well, you know. They call her Justine because she's always Justine time. God dang it. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to leave off for the night. You guys have a great night. I'm going to see you guys in two weeks as long as nothing else happens. Go sleep. I will. Goodbye. Minecraft. Bye.